Hey everybody, Ryan O'Halloran, and Jaguars beat reporter for the Florida Times Union. Week five is here. Jaguars two and two at three and one Pittsburgh Sunday one o'clock. Saturday online Sunday's print edition. I write about probably the story of the week. Leonard Fournette out on the field during certain situations, certain key situations last week against the Jets. So I dig into it. Okay, is he getting enough touches? Is he on the field enough? Here's what I found. He's getting a ton of touches. Third in league carries, has a bunch of catches too, so that's not a problem. It's the situations he's getting those touches. Some key third downs, third shorts, he wasn't on the field last week. And of the top eight backs in rushing in the league, he's last in playing time. That has to change. Put him out there as a decoy. Have him do some play action. Have him pass protect. Give the impression that you're going to use him on third and medium, second and long to try and get some of those yards back. Talk to Tyrone Wheatley. He says he's not, he doesn't really believe in runners get into a rhythm. That happens in practice. So maybe you see Chris Ivory with one carry instead of two in a row or maybe three out of four. Maybe they go to Fournette in, in some more high leverage situations. They use a baseball term. Doug Marone. Not gonna, he's not a me culpa guy, but he said they, he has to do a better job of looking at those situations because if they would have used Fournette, punched it in at the end of regulation on Sunday, he wouldn't have had those six carries in overtime. So it's about not so much the wear and tear for Fournette, but the situations in which he's used. He had, I think the Jaguars have to do a better job in that. So Saturday uh, online, Sunday print edition, all of that story on Letter Fournette and the Jaguar running game and their strategy. For Florida Times Union, Jacksonville.com, I'm Ryan O'Halloran.